guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rise. I'm back here at Dick Norris, Buick GMC, sunny Palm Harbor, Florida. And what we have is a special model, new for 2019. This is a 2019 GMC Yukon Denali. Now I know a lot of you are saying, well, the Denali isn't new for 2019. You're right, but what is new for 2019 is this one is the ultimate black edition. So let's talk a little bit about the Yukon. The Yukon is that full-size SUV in GMC's lineup, and with the Denali package, we're taking it to the extremes. And when I say extremes, we're talking about extremes of style, uh, comfort, luxury, also with the ability to, hey, tow your boat, tow your camper, or go for an offer a little excursion with the family somewhere camping. But with this Ultimate Black Edition, you're gonna see that there's some of these extras that just set this thing apart from anything else, not only on this GMC lot, but if you go to some of the other General Motors locations like Cadillac and Chevrolet, this thing still stands out really, really big time. So let's go ahead and get into this 2019 GMC Den uh, Yukon Denali Ultimate Black Edition. Right off the bat, I do like what GMC has done with the headlights. So you have these LED DRLs, and I think that when the car is running, it really frames the headlight very nicely. As we go across the front of the Yukon with the GMC Denali package, you're gonna get that bright chrome grill. Massive chrome grill. There's some chrome around the fog lamps down low. And then what's nice is just a little bit of um, flat black and everything else is just gleaming in this beautiful black paint. As we go up onto the hood, just like the Sierra pickup truck, I really like the body lines that they put into the hood of the Yukon. Very, very sharp looking vehicle, um, especially like I said, when you look at the sea of full-size SUVs, this thing really is a standout. Speaking of standout, check out these wheels. These wheels are specific to the Black Edition, that Ultimate Black Edition 22-inch wheel. I love the gloss black with the chrome inserts, sets it apart perfectly. Now this thing is a 285 width and 45 sidewall tire just for those who are keeping track of all those different numbers and wanna know, well, what is the actual tire setup on this 22 inch wheel? As we come down the side, lots of chrome. So you got the chrome on the mirrors, chrome trim all the way around the windows, some nice belt line chrome trim across the doors, even on the lower sill, chrome. And since we're talking about the lower sill on the Ultimate Black Edition, there you go. Those nice power assisted running boards, when you get into the vehicle, give it a few seconds, I promise, magically they go back up, voila. I like those touches. Also on the door handles, if you look at the wheels, they actually took the theme of the door handle, the black with the chrome around it, very nicely done for the styling. As we continue back, we have a brushed aluminum roof rail, obviously on both sides. You put your crossbars and whatnot, but remember, I'm six feet tall, this vehicle is pretty tall. It's, it's a full-size SUV. As we continue down the back, nice chrome trim finishing out behind the passenger door. And then I think it was super smart to not put any chrome trim around the rear quarter window. Almost makes it look like one solid piece of metal. As we wrap it around the rear, GMC does this very creative thing with their taillights. I really like that interlocking design with the reverse light and the brake light. Nice touch. As we come across that rear uh, lift gate, you can see the wonderful chrome drop down. This one does have the tow package and with the Ultimate Blackout Edition, it does come with this polished chrome tip. Now I am gonna zonk it. I'm not a big fan of the turned down style exhaust. I think that two, one on each side coming out the rear would just set off the back of this Yukon Denali. But let's go ahead, pop the hood and see what the heck is powering this thing. All right, guys, the massive hood is lifted on this Yukon Denali. That chrome grill, my attention just goes right to it, but underneath this hood, there's your attention. I'm sure is going to that. That is the big boy. That is that 6.2 liter V8, 420 horsepower, 
460 foot-pounds of torque in 2018. I know this is 2019, but in 2018, GMC got the 10-speed automatic. So this one's made it to that slick shifting 10-speed automatic. If you're wondering about weight, this thing weighs in 5,813 pounds, but at the end of the day, zero to 60 in 5.8 seconds, quarter mile in 14.3 at 99 miles an hour, top speed 113 miles an hour. And if you're wondering, well, with that kind of weight and that kind of performance, what MPGs are we getting? 14 in the city, 22 on the highway, and a combined 17. So you can see, when it comes to the Denali, it's all about big, big chrome grills, but also 420 horsepower push rod V8. Another thing I also wanna mention is when it comes to braking. Up front, you got 13 inch rotors, out back 13.6 inch rotors. So with a lot of heft and that speed, we need to break it down, but let's go ahead and fire up this Denali and see what it sounds like. All right, guys, we're inside the 2019 GMC Yukon Denali. Remember, whenever you hear Denali, that is automatically, your mind should go to top level trim because that's GMC's top level trim. This one has the new for 2019, like I said, that ultimate black edition. You're probably wondering price, right? You're probably saying, Joe, is this thing really gonna break the bank? You're looking at an MSRP, as she sits, $78,000. Let's see what you get. Let's go to the door panels. Now, when you look at the door panels, there's a lot of nice materials up top very soft material near the base of the window. I like the white contrast stitching. There's some plastic around the switch gear for the door locks. Kind of looks like brushed aluminum, but it is not, but it looks good. The actual armrest is nice leather. It's also nicely padded, which is a pleasant surprise. You have some wood grain finish. My big complaint is that if you look where that window switch is, What's going on there? I need some fine materials. This is a $78,000 vehicle. We need to have some brushed aluminum, something going on there just to brighten it up because it's hard plastic and I don't like the way it looks or feels. When we get to the dash, soft material across the top, some wood grain, some of that silver. I wish the silver was more actual brushed aluminum. I think it would be a little bit brighter and I think that it would actually make the interior look even more upscale. But you do have plenty of soft material, that white contrast stitching. As we come around, there's that paneling I was telling you about. I wish it was brushed aluminum, but hey, you know, you could wish. Is it going to come true? I don't know. Ask the Tooth Fairy. But when it comes to the infotainment, surprisingly small. The screen is very small. It is very clear. I like the color of the different graphics. And when you go to swipe and whatnot, it swipes very easily. My only problem is, like I said, is that the size of it. I think what needs to happen is these radio controls need to get slimmed down, AC controls need to get slimmed down, and that would allow for a larger screen, at least vertically, Eventually, this is all gonna to need to be redesigned and we're gonna need a nice widescreen infotainment. But you do have dual climate control and I do love the uh, continuation of the leather look all the way around the center console. Nice lids, you got two USBs. Hello, there's a 12 volt. You got a space for your phone right there. You also have another covered area for the cup holder. So definitely GMC has watched Rady's Rides and they know that I like to see the covers. Here's another zonk. I'm gonna zonk, so I'm zonking the size of the infotainment screen. I wish this was actual brushed aluminum. These buttons, you could have these three buttons be one switch. So you have your ventilated seats, you have your heated full seats, or you have the back portion of the seat that's heated. All this could be one easy button. GMC needs to do something with, uh, with that. It's, it's a little too much right here. As we transition down, you have this massive cover lid to the center console. It's a nice soft material. You have wireless charging right here. You just plop it down and then when you open her up, wow, you can fit a football in here. You can fit a football and a couple baseballs, Tom. Tom's a big baseball fan, so a couple baseballs in here. You have some nice little shelves and compartments for your doodads. Maybe you got some, uh, you know, candy that you want to keep in here. Uh, maybe some breath mints. You know, you go, you get a blooming onion at Outback and you got a business meeting. 
some breath mints would go a long way. Uh, two USBs, but a lot of space in here, which is nice to see. And it should be because of the sheer size of this. Not as big as the Expedition, though, the Ford Expedition. Seats. Love the look. Love the style. We got the Denali embroidery. Very nicely done. Perforated leather. I like the design of the contrast stitching. And when it comes from a comfort standpoint, I feel really good. Now, up top, I'm going to zonk it. No panoramic sunroof. You do have a sunroof back here, uh, up here for you and your passenger as you're driving. But for the people in the back, they're going to have to stick their heads out the window if they want to see the sun. Other than that, six feet tall, lots of room. This one does not have the fancy dancy rear view. I'm going to zonk that. First of all, at least give me a frameless mirror. This big black object here, as I turn my head, is very obtrusive. I would like to see frameless mirror and the nice fancy one that has the camera. Remember, this is an MSRP of $78,000. Why don't you come on over to the business end and we'll see what's going on behind the wheel of this Yukon Denali. All right, guys, business time behind the wheel. Let's see what we're working with. Of course, you're gonna have an eight-way multi-position electric powered seat. You have the nice Denali logo on the sill. And another thing, which I don't wanna peel this off, I'll probably get yelled at, uh, but there's, these are premium upscale level floor mats with the GMC embroidery logo there. That's from the Black Edition. Black, the Ultimate Black Edition gets these fancy floor mats. So you could take those home and you could actually uh, lay with them in bed and they'll be almost like a nice soft pillow. Over here to the, uh, my left is gonna be your controls. So right now I'm in two high. You could go into auto or you could go four high or low. I do like the way it's very easy to understand, very easy to get to as you're driving. So that's definitely a big thumbs up. Steering wheel. It's a little boring. I, I wish that it had something else going on here. That brushed aluminum, I'm telling you, go look at a Mercedes. It would look great in here, I promise you. You got the Game Boy buttons, which work well. I just don't like the way they look. You do have a power tilting, telescoping steering wheel. And then I do like the layout of the dash. I really think it's smart to have an analog tachometer. I like the uh, analog speedometer. And I like the digital gauges across the top there. Very nicely done. Then you can scroll through all the different information. How much gas are you burning? Um, do you need to make sure you get some extra gas cards for Christmas gifts and birthday gifts operating this uh, Yukon? One thing I want to point out that I can't show you unless I destroy it is with the Ultimate Black Edition, you do have some extra protection. No, not that, get your mind out of the gutter. When I'm talking about security protection, this has special um, sensors for wind, uh, any glass breakage. It also has, you know how most of the time when an alarm goes off, it's just a horn honking away? This one has a very high-pitched siren with motion detectors if anybody is getting near your Yukon Denali. You'll be alerted, other people will be alerted, and it'll scare the heck out of everybody. But let's go ahead and check out the back seat and see what your passengers are dealing with. All right, guys, mid-row time of this full-size SUV. This really, you know, is, is the intention of an SUV. We have so many different types now, different sizes, but this is the big boy. Interior, I like the seats back here. They are captain's chairs and Armrest, if it was just a little wider, it'd be perfect. So I am going to zonk the armrest. I'm glad it's not like Honda's ratcheting kind where you're like, Ch -ch 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 -ch. so it's real easy. You put it down, you rest your arm. I just wish it was a little wider. Um, that's my main complaint. We've already talked about there's no panoramic sunroof or anything. And as we come across, I like the way everything's wrapped in wonderful leather. There's those nice, soft, premium, premium material floor mats part of the Ultimate Black Edition. Talk about Ultimate, this command center's Ultimate. So you do have rear AC, it's up in the ceiling. You have nice home power source, 12 volt there. You got your little controls, very nicely done. Some USBs, so really taking care of, the passengers are taking care of when it comes to connectivity. You got a great storage area to put the phones, the iPads, God forbid a book. And then when it comes to the amount of room, I am liking the amount of room here. Now, I know some of you have said that you hate these rear AC vents because it blasts you in your face. I guess I'd rather have it up here uh, than on my knees, to be honest with you. But it actually uh, works very well. I think probably the best place is where they put the AC vents for the rear passengers right here in the frame rail, which is really nice. But the seat is very comfortable. You can do this and recline it. The problem is they don't slide. So there's no sliding rear seat. 
Now it's the time I'm sure you've all been waiting for. I'm gonna go ahead and get into the back seat and I'm just gonna pass through right over here like this. So the problem and the zonk is that the floor is higher in the back. So if you notice, my knees are in my mouth. So I guess if you wanted to take a look at your knees, you haven't seen your knees in a while, sitting back here would be great for if you're taller because as you can see, this is not a healthy seating position whatsoever. Um, so that's gonna be a major zonk and there's no type of armrest or anything. You do have the plastic on the side, they give you 12 volt, they give you cup holders. That's really, really nice. Um, but other than that, and you can see how the seats just fold right down, which is real simple. One last thing I wanna point out is this one is optioned with the little command center here. This is the old school Blu-ray. You got your wireless di display and HDMI, which you can plug right into the command center and watch your movies and whatnot. But uh, it's a little hard. To, I'm surprised it doesn't have like a release button. It makes you kind of jerk it down to get it down, which I think after a while that may break. So that could be a potential breakage zonk for the future. But let's go ahead and check out the cargo area and see what can we put in the back of a Yukon. All right, guys, that big moment, we're gonna lift up this big uh, rear hatch lift gate area. You push the button, up she goes fairly quickly, which I'm happy to see. As you can see, when we get to the back though, you do have this raised portion. Now, when you open this up, you do have some storage in there, but very, very small. If you are a parent, you're looking probably at a small uh, stroller would be able to fit in here with the seats up. Now, if you want the seats down, we have, it's all power assisted. So you just press the button, they fold fairly quickly down. And then that obviously now opens up the uh, amount of room. What I don't like is these little shelf areas because of the separation, but this is gonna be a problem for me, because, well not for me personally, but maybe for you, if you're trying to lift something into the back, normally it would be this high you gotta go, but you actually gotta go even a little bit higher. So for me, that's a zonk for having to lift that kind of stuff. But once you get the seats down, there's plenty of room for just about anything that you need to put back there. And then when you're done, you just press the button and you're ready to rock and roll. Speaking of ro rocking and rolling, let's go ahead and take this one for a spin. Rolling out of Dick Norris Buick GMC. I am in the largest SUV that is available, that Yukon Denali Edition. Right off the bat, it's amazing the riding experience in here, especially when you look out over the dash. You have a great heads up display located very prominent not in the middle, but a little bit lower than middle, which is so easy to see. I also love the seating and the textures in here. Everywhere you touch, very, very nice materials um, to feel on this uh, particular vehicle. So I really, really like that overall. Okay, so we made a little bit of pit stop. Uh, Tom needed to pick up a couple barrels of protein. So we figured we're in the Yukon Denali, all that great room that we showed you earlier. Well, we are loaded to the hilt. 20 pounds. With, yes, 20, yeah, more than 20 pounds per. Per barrel. Per barrel. So we got plenty of protein for Tom. While we're sitting here, before I roll out of the uh, the store parking lot, I want to show you something that I missed earlier. You push this button right near the radio controls, very similar to the Corvette. So you could actually play James Bond in your Yukon Denali. You hit the button, which I think I have to be in park, so shame on me. Hit the button. Up the infotainment screen goes, and then you have a nice cubby storage area with a USB. If you are going to valet park this uh, Yukon Denali, you could actually take some belongings, put it in here, and then lock it up and have it nice, safe, and sound so that nobody's gonna be going through your stuff. Plus, you can have it in the USB charging section. So just little features like that that you don't see on many different vehicles. And up to this point, it was really the first time I've seen that since the Chevrolet Corvette. But we're gonna go ahead now that we got everything uh, strapped down the back, the plate weights and also the barrels of protein. And we're rolling on out in the Denali. Remember that 6.2 liter V8. Let me go ahead and get on the loud pedal here. You can hear that 10 speed, the growl of the V8, very uh, very quick shifting, and I'm glad that GMC brought the 10 speed over to the Yukon, especially this Yukon Denali. Very comfortable ride, I'm telling you that right now. As we're going down the road here, very, very smooth, like you're riding on a sheet of glass. Um, 
which is very surprising from a vehicle this size. Speaking of size, visibility is real easy to see out the side windows, front windows, pulling away here. Let me go ahead and get on the loud pedal. Wow, this thing gets up and goes. <laughs> Remember we talked about sub six second zero to 60 in a vehicle of this weight is amazing. And I'm telling you right now that 10 speed automatic transmission is one of the many reasons why you're going to get those quick getaways. Brakes feel great. Remember, we have the 13 inch rotors up front, fully ventilated, 13, six inch, 13.6 uh, inch rotors out rear, also ventilated. That's going to give us some nice braking ability with a vehicle this size. Sitting in here, I mean, you're sitting in a lap of luxury. The seats are very supple. I got them uh, fully ventilated right now, so that feels really good. Armrest feels nice. Really, really just well laid out and well planned out. Just like we talked about with some other GMC vehicles, I am very excited to see what's gonna come down the pipeline because this Yukon has been like this basically since around 2016. So I'm expecting some big things coming from General Motors, especially GMC with the next Yukon. But for right now, this thing definitely has all the features. Push, pulling away, get on the lap pedal. This guy wants to see what he's all about. Very nice, I'm telling you, the sound, it's got that traditional push rod, good old push rod V8 sound, slick shifting transmission. Looking at the dash, I love how easy it is to figure out what, every, what everything is telling me. You got your tag, your speedo, and then everything in the center, digital readout is very crisp, very clean graphics. I even like the way on this vehicle, you can move around the heads up display. Very nice touch, it's just things like that that make you feel extra special because you have the ability to change and you know when it goes around when it comes to the actual fit and finish of the quality of the materials inside everything feels very upscale as it should with that denali trim but very very smooth riding suv and for a big full size this thing is easy to navigate around your local roads one thing i would like to see is a little bit larger side mirror just a tad but other than that i think we've already talked about my uh despising of the rear view mirror i wish it was that frameless kind with the built-in uh camera out back that makes life a lot easier plus it's really cool you can show off to all your friends um how you have that video footage that comes up on your rear view camera But I love just how easy it is to navigate through the, through the roads with this thing. Very, very nice. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, hopefully be able to maybe pitch it into this right-hand turn over the bumps. It's like they don't even exist. Coming through, coming up this hill, not a problem. 420 horsepower, come on. No issues getting up this. This, this this Yukon Denali, I'm telling you, drives very, very nicely. And you're just comfortable. I mean, you can drive hundreds of miles in this thing and not even need to stop at a rest break. Unless you need to get gas. That'd probably be the, the one time you need to stop. Handling on this Yukon Denali is very smooth. And, and the feedback that you're getting from the steering wheel is really great as well. And that's something that on some SUVs gets lost in translation is how are those front tires communicating through the steering rack and pinion? Because remember, everything pretty much is electric now. And sometimes the feeling goes away with those electric assisted rack and pinions. But on this Denali, Yukon Denali, I really like the feel of the steering, especially the weight of it. It's It's got the perfect amount and you're also you're not chasing through the wheel. Like as you're driving down, it, it really is honed in on top dead center. So as you come out of the turn, there's not a lot of wiggle room. There's not a lot of play in the steering wheel, which I also am very happy about. Cause there's been SUVs that I've driven where there's a lot of play in the steering wheel and um, it doesn't need to be like that. But we're gonna go ahead and wrap this one up and I will see you back at Dick Norris Buick GMC in a split second. All right guys, been another great day here at 
Dick Norris, Buick GMC. Definitely got to give a huge thank you to Adam Norris and everybody else here at the dealership. Always so accommodating of Radies Rides. If these are the things you like to see, these full-size, totally optioned up SUVs, leave a comment in that comment section. If you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile coming back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you. Thank you for being part of the Radies Rides family. Check out all my different forms of social media. If you want to get yourself some merch, click the link in the description. It takes you right to Spreadshirt. Also, if you are a lover of photography, definitely check out Big Guns McGee, Tom Moshner's Instagram page, at Mosh Photos. You'll be able to see his real, true love for nature, life, and even babies. Yes, Big Guns McGee loves children, so ladies. But anyways, just like always, I'll see you on the next ride.